hope you have a fabulous weekend. I'm Kung. Today I'm going to show you, I'm very excited to show you property. The reason why there's a gap between the last development update and this one because we have an issue with the tradesmen. Now we sort everything out and get the new builder in. Now we're going to pause everything to, to Daniel <laughs> to explain more about these, okay? <laughs> Thank you Kung for your timely introduction. Right, it's Daniel from KML. We're here at Jiggins Lane. Um, as we said, we had a massive period of time between this development update and the last one because basically, um, I'll, I'll explain more inside as we're it's a bit cold. Um, so, if you just look, we've painted the front of the house um, we've done all the drainage for the front and we had to dig this up and then connect to the sewage and with the down pipes to the gutter as well we've created a little channel that gets dispersed out there. Um, we finally got the new door. Um, we're going to be painting, to match this, uh, we're going to be painting under the windows black just so it gives it a bit of character. Could you join us please? So yeah, we're at the final stages now. Um, so this room has been painted, the electrics have been done. Um, come in, I want to show you the doors. We've opted to try something a bit different and have these codes on the doors this time just to see how the, the tenants like it in the market. Um, come around and I'll show you a completed bathroom. Again, this is... Uh, sink, a single tap, a tile behind it and a cabinet. Very similar to Anderton but we've opted for slightly um, different showers. So these doors, we've got four that open up normally and four that slide so we're going to decide on whether which ones are better and then go with that moving forward. The central heating is all complete. Uh, same again, we're going to have the USB sockets um, for each bathroom. Uh, the door's on, uh, we just need to get the closers on. Uh, we've got some of the, the flooring that we're going to be using for the boiler room. And then here is a completed bathroom. So very, very spacious. See, we opted for slightly different splashback boards, and then we've got that beast of a shower. We decided to get a larger shower head because um, when turned on the previous showers, it didn't cover all my fat squad. <laughs> um, we've got a nice bracket there for the uh, shampoo and stuff. Tower radiators. Yeah, I can see some of you wondering where it is. Here they are. <laughs> and then a nice little treat for you. Me. <laughs> um, this is something that our builder suggested. Uh, you, you got this, this basically big, big ass tile for the sink, and it's it's very beautiful. There's my co-presenter, Kung. Uh, so this is what's important, as I said on a few other videos, is that we have a separate utility boiler room. So this is where our boiler is going to go. Um, underneath there is going to be the washer, the dryer, and we've got two cupboards. And then we have this little corner where our tank is going to go and that's going to feed the whole property. Uh, it just needs to get painted. We've got the boiler going in Monday. If you have any questions about this build, just let me uh, know and I'll answer it at the end. Again, so all the bathrooms are copy and paste as it's cheaper to buy in bulk. So once you've seen one bathroom, we've seen them all. Um, I'm going to show you a room with that has the floors down in it after I show you the kitchen. And here we have the banqueting hall. So I'll just get in this corner to properly show you. So this is going to be the lounge and the diner. Plenty of space, 
plenty in the tank, sir. And here is the kitchen. Yeah, so we've got two ovens, two sinks. So again, really paramount, the space is important. Each tenant is gonna have their own double cupboard, we'll stick numbers on them, and uh, so they each have their own space. We had the furniture delivery today, so now I'm going to take you upstairs and show you all the carpet. So this is this is a completed room. White walls, grey carpet. And then this is the ensuite, so they're all fairly large ensuites. So the flooring that we chose. And same shower. So we got all the beds delivered today, so in all the other rooms, it's parts of a bed. And again, I'm not going to show you all the bathrooms because they're all the same basically, um, just a different shape. Uh, I'm going to go to the kitchen and I'm going to talk about why it was so long. Um, so we started this project in January and it was meant to take six months. So now we're pushing on 10 months, which is unacceptable really. Um, and it was basically because our builders were taking on too much work. So after they didn't turn up for a while, we sacked them um, and then we got new builders in. We basically got the same trades, but without the management of that company. Um, yes, I will do the garden dear, thank you. Um, so we've got new builders, so they're directly answerable to us, so there's no middleman, and the work they've done is nothing short of astonishing. I'm going to take you out into the garden um, after I show you the dome. <laughs> there's a bit of a vanity project, that one. I just want to have a dome in the kitchen. And here is the garden. So we nearly, nearly finished the garden. We just got the gravels going out now. They're gonna have a nice lawn where they can just lounge about and do their thing. Uh, same, they're gonna, we're gonna put garden chairs out there and there's gonna be a hedge blocking this area. And then, there you go. Uh, we've got a new fence, painted the fence. And then got new panels here. And here we go. There's going to be steps coming down into the garden, into the car park. So the car park is going to be eight spaces. Right, so the lesson that we learned here is that always to have contracts and break clauses. So what we've done um, with our builders now is we give them a bonus if they finish early or a penalty if they finish late and there's a time scale. Um, and we don't, they, don't get, they don't get paid chunks now, they get paid weekly. And we list out every individual job each week. And if that job isn't done, they don't get paid for that week. Um, so they, they really do have a time scale. And it's, it's really motivated the builders because now they work. Um, when we first arrived with the delivery, there was a couple of trades here. Um, so it's, it's, it's a much better system in terms of getting the job finished. Um, 
yeah, I'm really pleased with how things are going. We've got, uh, there should be some pictures um, next week with it being completely finished with all the furniture in and then we're going to start the valuation. The valuation is booked for the following week. So it's exciting times here. Uh, thank you for all your time. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you soon.